Hey guys, it's Rosanna. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Now, in today's video, since it is Valentine's Day, I mean, look at all the pink I'm wearing. I'm wearing my pink Kirby shirt. If you can see him, there he is. And then I'm wearing my pink lips, my pink eyes, my little pink love ball from Pokemon. And I mean, it's just Valentine's all about pink. And I mean, Valentine's is also on Wednesday and on Wednesday we wear pink. So now in today's video, we're doing another baking video and we're going to be doing a whole extravaganza. We're doing two different um, treats for Valentine's Day. I'm having brownies and we're going to be doing sugar cookies and they're both going to have a nice buttercream icing and and don't worry it's going to be pink. So now I have in the spirit of Valentine's Day we have a heart-shaped cookie cutter. Now don't worry, the brownies are going to be hearts and the cookies are going to be hearts. It's going to be a great time. So let's get started. We're going to start with the brownies first because it's going to be easy because I have a already pre-made mix. So you won't need a recipe for this one, but I will be sharing the, the sugar cookie recipe that'll be shared. And I will have it in this video and in the description below. I know I forgot to say that in my chocolate chip one. So I remembered, I remembered this time. So let's start off with the brownies. Hang on, before we get started, you guys wanna see the flowers that Kyle got me for Valentine's Day? Hang on. He got me little roses and incarnations and I'm not exactly sure what these are, but you know, it looks weird in the big vase, but uh, please don't judge me. All right, brownies, easy. Get your box of mix. Take it, open it. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay, got your mix. Cut this bad boy open. Then we pour. Throw out the box. Actually, we need that box. Because <laughs> we need the time. Realize what this was, it's the sprinkles we put on top after it's done. Now, we're gonna put in our wet ingredients, which is eggs, oil, and water. So just when you have your brownie mix, just follow it on the box. I'm not gonna bother putting up the ingredients and everything on this one, it's not needed. The box has all the instructions, just look at your brownie box. Water. Oil. Then your eggs. You wash the eggs off your fingers because it's gross. Now that all the ingredients are in this bowl for these brownies, it's time to mix it up. Just take any old big spoon. Anybody have a, a Valentine this year? I hope so. If not, that's okay. You know, now you don't need a Valentine. And if you're single, ready to mingle, you'll find somebody. I'm sure of it. Don't give up now. You'll find somebody and find somebody that'll treat you great. 
you want somebody that will treat you very nicely and treat you like the queen or king that you are. Don't settle for anything less and don't settle for somebody that's going to be very mean to you. Don't, don't do that to yourself. And if you need a valentine, I'll be your valentine. If you want that, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force it. All right, that looks pretty, pretty mixed up. So we'll take this and we're gonna put it into our the box. It says you can do like a eight by eight, nine by nine, or a nine by thirteen. I think it said. Well, I have this, I have this. 9 by 13 it's like one of those, you know those like red copper pans that that one weird lady, I, I forgot what her name is, but um, she does like those dump dinners and stuff. Well, she had this, and it's like that perfect brownie slice, and it comes with the, it, it's an attachment, I can't, I don't know what it's really called, but like it has like a, it for like perfect squares, and like it has perfect square brownies that you want, but I'm not going to do it because I'm going to do the, heart cookie cutter. So we're going to fill this up and put it in the oven. And like the box says, for a pan like this, 325, and this is about, for this size pan, 28 to 31. And I'll probably do maybe 29 just to play it safe. So let's get this in the pan and put it in the oven. Oh, actually, I forgot something. I gotta put the sprinkles on. Or as it says on this bag, uh, Valentine chips. <laughs> I don't know, these, these don't really look like, these don't really look like chips. Oh well. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> now that the brownies are all in the pan, they're probably going to be very thin, but that's okay. We're going to put it in the oven. I already have my oven set at 325. And I said probably about 29 minutes. Since they're so thin, I might do 28, but... I might check on it every once in a while. And then we'll get to the sugar cookies. So once these are cooled and everything, we'll get them in their heart shapes, and then we'll start on the sugar cookies. So let's put these in the oven. I'll put it on the top, the top row, just so it doesn't burn. All right, start that time. Oh, I'm sorry, did you want some? Open the train. Let the train in. Choo -choo. All right, I took the brownies out. I'd say probably about, I had like nine minutes left in my timer. So, because these are very thin, so I'd say probably don't do the full time, but maybe do like 25 and then check on it. And then, you know, use the fork method. You take a fork and then you poke it in there and if it comes out clean, it's done. You don't want to burn them. All right, now that the brownies are still doing their thing and we'll take them out and cool them, and then we'll cut them into the heart shapes. We're gonna get started on the sugar cookies. Now, you wanna start off with combining your dry ingredients. Now, as you can see, we have two and one fourth cup of all-purpose flour. Now make sure when you're doing it, you level out the measuring cup so that you have like an even amount. So two and one fourth cup of flour. Then, into the flour, you're going to put in one-fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay. 
There it goes again, getting stuck. And then you're going to add one half teaspoon of baking powder. So no baking soda for this one, just baking powder. All right, now that all those are in there, we're going to take our trusty whisk. We're going to whisk up this bad boy. I should have probably done this in a bigger bowl. <laughs> Get powder everywhere. Make sure to get a bigger bowl. <laughs> Don't be like me. Okay, that's pretty whisked up. Whisked, is that the word? I don't know. But anyways, now let's get to the standing mixer and add in all our other ingredients. All right, now that we're with our stand mixer here, all reliable, let's get started making these sugar cookies. Now, you're gonna take some butter and some sugar and cream them together. You're gonna to mix them, just like any other baking recipe, like, you know, any of them. Maybe not all of them, I'm not exactly sure. Don't quote me on that, but a lot of these recipes I have been doing needed the butter and sugar cream together first. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're, we have here 3 fourths cup of butter, which is three half sticks. Now, make sure these are at room temperature. So not, not four half sticks this time, not a cup, just three. So let's get these in there. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Three butters. Now we have here three-fourths cup of sugar and granulated, not powdered, granulated. So we're going to put that also with our butter, and then we're gonna cream. I am so sorry, I meant mix. I keep saying the wrong thing, please. <laughs> All right, let's get to mixing. All right, that looks pretty, pretty creamed, I think. I, th I think I'd say so. So let's add in our other ingredients. All right, I wiped it off a little bit just so it all could go in there, but now we're gonna add in our three wet ingredients. You're gonna add in your egg, vanilla extract, and almond extract. Now, the almond is optional. You don't need to put it in, but I like the flavor of a little bit of almond in my sugar cookies, so we're gonna add it. You don't have to, it's optional. Now, let's add in are two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now we have one half teaspoon of almond. Now you can do either a fourth or you can do one half teaspoon. It doesn't matter. It depends on the amount of almond flavor you want in it. So we're doing a half because I really love almond extract. I mean the smell is just... <sighs> and now we're going to add in our egg. Now make sure that your egg is at room temperature. It makes it a little easier for your sugar cookie. So room temp, one egg. Now let's add that in. Now let's get to mixing. Lock it. Now you wanna do that for about like a couple of minutes. Like, so it kinda looks like, you know, it kinda looks like this. Kinda like, kinda looks like scrambled eggs in a little, in a way. I mean, yeah. Kind of looks like scrambled eggs. All right, now we're gonna put in our dry ingredients and then these sugar cookies are done. So let's grab those dry ingredients. Now remember it's the flour, salt, and baking powder, not baking soda. All 
right, our last mix. And then we can make our sugar cookies. Now let's hope that flour doesn't go everywhere. Oh yeah, that looks like some nice, nice sugar cookie dough. Yeah, that, that's, that's good, good dough. Look at that. So once you get to like this consistency, that's when you know you're ready. But also make sure that it's not like too sticky. Cause if it is, add a little bit of extra flour. Oh yeah, that tastes pretty good. All right, let's unlock that. Show that angle. So that's what it looks like. So that's our dough. We're gonna roll it out, Autobots roll out, and we will shape our cookies. Now, you can chill this dough for a couple hours, but I don't have that time right now, and I never had to chill it before, and it still worked out, so hopefully, hopefully it still works out. So, let's get these on a cookie sheet and start shaping them. All right, let's start making these cookies. Now, you wanna flour your surface, so I have my flour right here. You just want to take like a tiny bit, make sure your hands are clean, and then just sprinkle it on there like Salt Bay. And we'll leave our flour, okay, we're going to leave our flour off to the side right there just in case we need a little more. So let's spread this flour a little bit. All right, now let's get our dough. And you want to make sure that your dough gets, you know, rolled a little bit great in the flour, just so it can, you know, stick really nice. Now look at that. That nice dough. Now look at that nice dough. Now, what you're gonna do now is take your rolling pin and you're just gonna roll it out. Get it to about like, I don't know, like a half inch. And if your dough starts to stick a little, put a little bit of flour on your rolling pin. So just kind of rub a little bit on there and then get your dough pretty thin. Not super thin though. Mm, that seems like a good enough thickness. And make sure it's all even too. All right. Just get a little spank in there. Now let's take our cookie cutter and let's make these shapes. Oh, that is a nice heart. Lovely shape. Get a closer look there. So there's our little heart. And we're gonna put that on the parchment paper, but I'm gonna cut all these up first and then put them on the parchment. All right, I think that's all the cookies I can make. I'm just gonna eat the rest of this. All right, now I have our cookies on the sheet and we're gonna put it in the oven. Now, you want your oven to be set at 350. So not 325 like last time. You're gonna want it at 350 and you're gonna have them in there for about 11 to 12 minutes, depending on one, the thickness, and two, you know, you don't want it to be too brown. So you want it to be about you know, lightly brown. So I'm gonna do it for maybe 11 minutes, but we'll see. So let's put them in the oven. And on top again, so it doesn't get too burnt. Cause you don't want it too close to the bottom like heater basically. So 11 minutes. Well, I thought since these guys were cooling, I would show you the brownies that are all nicely heart-shaped. So, there they are. 
and I decided to not put icing on them. It depends on if I have icing left. I'm not exactly sure because I mean I did make a lot of sugar cookies so we'll see. All right now that the cookies are done and the brownies we're going to be making our icing for the it's kind of like a buttercream. I don't know how to really describe it, but it's kind of a buttercream. Now, I found this recipe online. I actually didn't make this one. So I will have the link to the icing down below, but I will tell you what ingredients it has. It has four cups of confectioner sugar, which is powdered sugar. Then you have one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Of a half cup of vegetable shortening. Get like the Crisco ones, the little bars. Just do half of the bar. And then you're gonna do five tablespoons of milk. You can use, I'd, I'd rather use like whole milk. So use whole milk for the icing. And as you can see, with Old Reliable, I have a different bowl this time since my other one's dirty so good thing I have two bowls I'm so special I got two bowls now in this bowl we're gonna add in our shortening now that our shortening's in there we're gonna beat it I mean mix it. Mix it until it's creamy, just like the sugar cookies. All right, that's pretty creamy. Now, you'll want to add in your sugar, but do it like gradually, like just take you know a measuring cup and slowly put it in there and while that's going on, every once in a while, put in your milk. And remember, it's five tablespoons, so just go back and forth with it. So I'll start off with the sugar first. Put like two scoops in there. And then we'll add in our tablespoon. Now just, like I said, go back and forth with this. Don't do what I just did and keep it going while you're doing this. You're gonna scare yourself. All right, that looks pretty good. I'll have to scrape some of this to get more of the powder in there. But now, this is optional. You don't have to do it, but since it's Valentine's Day, we have to do pink. Now, let me grab my pink food coloring. <laughs> and I'm back. Now, I actually have pink by itself, but if you want to make it pink, just don't do as much red food dye if you have red food dye only. Just do like maybe a drop or two. But since I have pink, we're going to make it pink. So let's make this pink. Of course, me, I forgot to open it. <laughs> now, as a PSA, always be careful with opening your dye and stuff because you're going to get a little bit on your finger. So be careful. All right, let's do like two drops. One, two. Oh, I did a little more, sorry. Just do a couple of drops. All right, let's see how much this is. Oh, now that is a perfect pink. Here, I'll do a little close up for you. It's a little dark for you there. Here, I'll do it here. Very nice pink. Now. Once those cookies cool down, we're gonna ice them. All right, I'm sitting down for this one because we're gonna be decorating these cookies. Now, I got the icing right here, and then we got our sprinkles that I got from Target. So, you know, Target has like literally everything. So they had little Valentine's Day uh, sprinkles, so. And that's where I actually got the brownie mix from was actually Target too. So 
I guess I guess I'm a Target girl. They're not canceled, are they? I don't know. I really like Target. Anyway, so I got two cookies here. I thought I'd decorate at least two for this video, and then I'm going to decorate the rest later because you, you don't need to sit through that. So let's decorate these cookies. First, we're going to get a little bit of icing that is nice and pink. Now, I'm one that likes like a lot of icing on my cookies. I don't like my sugar cookies at least. Now, you don't have to, you know, have icing on your sugar cookies. I just, I, I like it better when it has icing on it, especially this one that I make. Because there's just something about it. It's just always been a hit whenever I'd make it. Like I, I used to make with my best friend, actually, we made uh, Pokeball cookies. Maybe, maybe I'll do a video on that and I'll do it with her so that you can see it. So we'll do that. So there's one cookie and then we'll do the second one. Now hopefully I'll have enough icing for maybe the brownies. We'll see. We'll see if you know, I'll have enough, depending on if I do a little too much with these cookies. Cause like I said, I love me a lot of icing on my cookies. Kyle, not as much, but most of these are for me. He can have the brownies. Cause like, I like brownies, but like, I'm not really, I'm not really a chocolate girl. I, I think when I have chocolate, it's like a little too much. And when I have something sweet, I need to have something salty. So I'm more of a savory girl, but I love sugar cookies. All right, both of those have some nice amount of icing on it, I think. Oh, I don't know, what do, you, what do you think? Do you do you think that's a good amount? You can't answer me, I'm sorry. You can maybe tell me in the comments if you think it was enough. So let's see, what, what icing to do, or icing? What sprinkle to do? Um, there's these cute little heart ones. Maybe I'll do the little heart sprinkles on one of them. Yeah, let's just get it all over the plate and not on the cookie. Here, we'll just kind of stick them on there. Boop. Boop. All right, that's good enough. There, you can see it on this one. So there you go, there's the one. All right, what, what's another sprinkle that I should do? Here, I'll spin it around and you could choose. Let's see. Mm. Let's go with this one. I, th I think that one will be a good one. And then the other ones will be all different kind of ones, but we'll just do it with these ones for now. And there we go again, sprinkles going everywhere. <laughs> Maybe I need to turn this around and just kind of that works. Uh, somewhat. That's <laughs> it's good enough. <laughs> so there are our cookies. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and tell me Tell me all about your Valentine's Day. If you need a Valentine, I'll be your Valentine. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.